so wherever there are dark-skinned people, there's a plan already made. Keep these people in disarray. Keep these people chaotic. Keep them going at each other's throats. Keep them out of food. Keep them out of water. Keep them out of medicine. Keep them out of a education system that teaches them anything that they can use. They come out with a piece of paper in their hand, and nobody's telling them where to go and what to do. They just stand there with a the piece of paper in their hand. And finally, they just throw it somewhere aside into a trunk or something, and then next thing you know, they're in some type of trouble, and the next thing you know, they're locked up. Well, that's a plan. That plan was made before they even started the school. That's got to be understood. That is the only war. Everything else in the system of racism, see, once you establish an entire world system of racism, racism itself is war, and it's the only war. And like I said before, all the other incidents that you hear on a daily basis, people killing each other, people cheating each other out of money, people doing this and doing that, people robbing, people stealing, these are all a part of the battles that go into a war. The whole world is constantly at war in a system of racism because the system of racism says you're supposed to mistreat people based on color. That's what racism is. Find somebody to mistreat based on color. Find somebody to dominate. First of, first of all, you dominate them. You get control of them. Get control of their comings and goings and all like that. Get control of their aspirations. Get control of the food that they eat and everything. Then that's that's a form of war. Once you get this control and you're not using it for a constructive purpose, you're just using it to build up your ego by being able to look at people that you have now put in complete chaos, complete disarray. I mean, made drove driven them completely insane, and then you just stand back and enjoy the show. That's what racism is really all about. It's not about trying to gain anything because once you gain the the power over people based on color to mistreat the people, that becomes your reason for being. That's why it's so difficult to replace the system of racism hmm. because people don't have any experience with doing anything else. Uh, black people don't have the experience with doing anything else other than being subject to racism. We never experienced anything like that. And the white people, the white people who are born into the system, are like soldiers born into an army. They're like the children of soldiers born into an army of the soldiers in a war that's already in operation. You know, so they just fall right in line and start doing all the things right. that they see the other people doing, and then it just, just keeps going on and on and on because no one is talking about, wait a minute, maybe we need to have an entire new system of doing business right. on this planet.